Greetings and welcome back to Smart Watch Ticks. It's an exciting day today. We are opening something really lightweight and small, but my understanding, it packs a wallop of a punch. Yeah, and it's not just a new smart something. We are also welcoming a new partner. That's right. Wow, I gotta get into here. This is really well packaged. Uh huh. Okay, there it is. There it is. Almost have it. Ah. We are looking at a I Wow Unfit. I have really tried to pronounce that. Ewo One Fit? Ah, I wow and fit. And look at the inside of here. It's a little roll band. This is like one of those Fitbit things, only, well, it's got a whole bunch of new technology. And who's it from? You guessed it. I won't fit. So <laughs> it's the I wow and fit I6 Pro. There are other versions, an I6, and then this is the Pro version with the heart rate monitor smartwatch and all sorts of other good stuff it's available directly from their amazon store they're listing it at 39.99 and i've got a coupon for 20 percent off of that price for you down below so good deal going on right now as we take a look at this one i also wanted to mention if you've never heard of them before that's okay but they're also marketing through walmart now you know you've heard of that and it's like a lot more money, and um, you can get it cheaper from the Amazon store for sure, and especially if you take advantage of our discount. But I just wanted to point out that it is commercially available through a major chain like Walmart. For those of you concerned, that probably gives you a little better feel that this is not just some strange pronounced named company. But, uh, I mean, if Walmart's picked them up, yeah. Okay. Okay. What's it, what's it do? What's it got? It's, um, the thing that's kind of fun about this is it's always working 24-hour um, real-time continuous heart rate monitor. But check out some of the other stuff. It's got this PMO LED screen, alloy frames, curved bottom, buckle strap design. We're going to look at all of that. Uh, it's got um, capturing every second of heart rate fluctuations, a three-axis gravity acceleration sensor that helps improve the step count, and um, simply click, slide, long press, three kinds of operating mode on a very simple band. The specifications are as follows. It's got the full-on IP67 waterproofing, which means you should be able to swim with it and shower with it, Five days of battery life, TPU band material. All right, and it comes in black, orange, cakey, kikey, key, <laughs> and blue. And I've got the black one here, khaki. I'm sorry, <laughs> me and my pronunciations. How do we want to get into this? Oh, look at that. It's sealed here. Tells you a little bit about what it's got. Heart rate, touch screen, active tracking. Of course, it's going to tether with its own app, which uh, is the iWow and Fit app, which is its own app, which is really interesting. We will uh, put that on the watch, on the phone, and tether the thing and uh, take a look at how that works as well. So, let's get inside and pull it out. And take a look. Okay, things are falling out because I did it upside down. Here's the unit itself. Wow, this is super lightweight. I think it could almost float. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tiny little band. It's showing you that you've got, uh, you can slide and you can press and hold for three seconds. And of course, just touch. So that's an overlay on here for instructions. Is it on? Oh my gosh, it's on! That was so clean and crisp, it looked like an overlay. I'll be darned. All right. It's, uh, yeah, it, it's 
doing its thing. I'm not supposed to be playing with you yet. I'm still showing what came in the package. We have a little charger unit, which is highly magnetic. Okay, this is different. This is an unusual kind of a design, so don't lose this thing. Um, you might have to get a, a secondary one if you needed to replace one. But since it's got five days battery life, you probably can charge it. And, yeah, not that way. Charge it and just use it, you know, for a whole week before you need to charge it again. It couples like that. It's good and solid. Look at that. It's not coming off. Strong magnetic coupling. You can charge it overnight or in probably in an hour or two. And like I said, it says it's, it's good for five days. Plugs into a standard USB charger. Okay. And then we've got the manual, which we'll take a look at. I did see that uh, in some of the notes that there's not a PDF version of this, and it is rather small. So we're going to let you look at it closely here. And if you get this watch, uh, band, device, you can um, zoom in on the manual and freeze frame the YouTube video. Take a look at everything. All the stuff that it does. You know, we see a lot of these fitness kind of bands out in the marketplace. But one of the nice features is really to be able to have that continuous um, heart rate uh, collection of data and be able to present it on the uh, phone to transfer it over so you can use it on the phone. Then we have different languages for the rest of the manual. So there we are. Here we are with the band. And... Uh, Wow, I don't even know if I need to charge it up. That's pretty slick. Let's put it on. Let's see what it looks like. Pretty simple. I strap it over this way, tuck it under, and simply press it down. Line up the holes. There we go. Wow. Wow. Slick. All right. I'm going to do it right. I'm going to charge it. And uh, you know what? I'll go out and accumulate some data, load up the app in the phone, and then we'll come back and take a deeper look. So I'm going to show you this first. Uh, it's all charged up. I went out to lunch, and I went into a tracking mode, and I came up with these results when I stopped it. So keep that in mind, because we're going to be looking at that in a minute. And because it was frozen on the screen, I figured, all right, we'll capture it, because I don't think I can get it back once I leave this mode which I don't know how to do. Let's try press and hold. Okay. Swipe up. Ah, look at that. We're back into this tracking mode now, or training mode, they call it, which is one of the options you get when you scroll down like this. So let's run through the watch. You've got the time mode that shows up first. You can touch the screen. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It actually gives you temperature when you're tethered to the watch, uh, to the phone. Very cool. I have not seen one that does that. A swipe brings it up. A twist of the arm brings it up. And a tap will bring it up. And oftentimes a tap and a hold will do stuff. So we come up like this. And if I go this way, uh, it's going kind of fast, but I go through all of the options. There's the number of steps. The calories burned. The distance calculated, heart rate, which if you leave it on there, it's going to actually kit your heart rate, and it'll stay in this mode, reporting your um, your heart rate continuously. It takes it a while to give you a result, but I think it's because it's got that uh, that fancy processor in it. Now you might see the heart flickering on the screen. It's not really doing that on the on the band. That's that interface beat frequency between the camera and uh, whatever device you got it on. Sometimes the watches and bands do that. There's my pulse rate, and it calculates that, like I said, until I actually leave the mode. From here, where you've got the watch face, you can trickily slide it this way. You go into Schedule, Function, and Training, and Message. Okay. I have no idea what schedule is. I haven't figured that one out. I touch it and it goes over to here. I can press and hold. And it just goes out. It's uh, not sure what schedule is. A lot to learn about these things. I come here to function. And if I press to the side, I can change the dials. 
I can restore the watch, reset everything, or I can turn the power off. So if you ultimately want to turn the power off and save battery, you can do that with this uh, device. It's not always on. So from that function area, if I press and hold the dial, I can show you the different watch faces. That's the one we've been looking at. This one, press and hold, is just going to show you the time in military time. Uh, not sure yet. We'll have to check the app whether we can change that to AM and PM. And as you can see, it's going to be a bit of a trick to change each of them because you have to get to there, press it, and hold it. And then slide it. So you have an analog one if you want. Press and hold. And that's the one you see in the little picture. It's kind of dim, not as bright as the digital ones, but it is available to you. And... Press and hold again. Another type of a digital, I mean analog, and then a straight analog that's just got tiny little hands. We all know tiny little hands. So I'm going to go back to, you notice it only goes in one direction, to our standard digital one, which has the date, time, and temperature display for you. All right. That's this. Schedule. Function, training. Training was the one that I was on this page here, and when you press and hold it, it beeps, blinks, and now it's accumulating information. And uh, if you're walking or jogging or swimming or whatever event you're doing, it's tracking all of that stuff until such time as you press and hold again, and it comes back with the results. And that's what I just showed you before. Now what we're going to do is bring in the app. This is the i1, i1 Fit Pro. And uh, it's the Pro version. When you scan the barcode, uh, the QR code, it comes up with the basic one. I'm not sure what the difference is between the two. You can go to the Google Play Store and download either one of them. They look a lot alike to me. It says it's disconnected. It's now synchronized. And it's going to do a, an update right now automatically and transfer the data that I've accumulated in the watch over here. I already played with this. See, 100% charge, and it's been synced. I already played with this a little bit, and sorry, my phone's still broken. I, have, I haven't had time to replace the case, so it's a phone thing, not anything to do with the watch band. Um, I played with this a little bit, and I'm going to show you some of that, where these funny numbers are all coming from in here. Uh, but this is your home page, and you can see that under each of these sections, you have little arrows that you can go over to the side. Now, we saw I had 137 steps when we looked at it on the band. If I come over here, I can show you calories burned, and here's some statistics of time of day of the distance and speed that led to those total number of steps. Now, I have very little data on here, but just enough to whet your appetite to show you the possibilities. It's bracketing time and showing you distance, duration, and speed of activity that you're doing in that little time bracket. And giving you an overall, looks like, circular thing that's supposed to calculate and, and meet your goal in this case, the goal is probably 10,000 steps is my guess. Yeah, there you go. Target is 10,000 steps. And I have steps completed in this are 87. Target progress. Oh, sports satisfaction. That's a rating thing you can do. And your statement you want and some feedback. You can write something. Okay, that all ended up because I touched something. <laughs> I guess I touched that, and that's where you can put that in. So you can do your event, and then you can comment about it as well. Didn't know that. Pulling down synchronizes. And that was uh, this one about the steps. You saw me just now touch sleep. Have not had this overnight to do the sleep monitoring. But if you're familiar with the other uh, type of apps uh, related to 
tethering kind of sports watches that have sleep monitoring on them. You're familiar with this. It is automatic. It turns on by itself, supposedly. It tells you your total sleep, your deep light and awake time, and then some interesting stuff about sleep state with some graphs. Sleep influence factors. And then, like before, you can write something. You can comment on your night's sleep. So look, you're getting a diary as well. You've got a diary that can talk to you in, in your own words back again about your workouts, about your sleep. And here's your heart rate. And here's so far in tiny little uh, images. I can't scroll it. But since I put it on and have worked with it, uh, it's giving me readings of my real-time heart rate. And I had a 24-minute warm-up, it says. And average heart rate was 115 beats when I was uh, exercising. How much of it is in all of these factors, I'm sure will calculate out if you accumulate more, uh, more information. That's the basic information then. And now let's take a look at the band, first of all, the setup. Right here in the very top, is where we're connected. This is the device. We can disconnect it and reconnect it here. We have all these options, including within the band, setting up a sedentary reminder. Now, again, the band uh, only vibrates. It doesn't make any sound, so you'll be setting up uh, just vibration. You can't turn it on unless you go in and set the time first. So I'm going to let it give me sedentary between 9 and 5. 9 a.m., 5 p.m., and it's turned on and repeat that weekdays. All right, that's pretty much the time I'm doing these videos and working on the computer. I presume it's sedentary period is one hour. I don't see where we can adjust that, but we do have a sedentary reminder that will happen Monday through Friday during those waking hours. Notification of messages. This is where you have to give permission for all the various apps that you have installed. And uh, this thing is called the... There it is. I1 Fit Pro is now given access to all the different things that are in its list. The notifications of messages is set up. SMS application... Wow, okay. There we go. Now it's set up as the SMS application, notification of messages, all these other services that you could select, and they'll send you, it'll send you notifications to the watch, and then others. You can add those there too. You can have call, reminder, all of that once you've got it all set up properly on your phone. And there's more. When we're in here, that was the notifications. Here's where you can switch to 12 or 24 hour time on the display. And now it's back to 12 hour time, 02 in the afternoon, 2.31. There's auto sleep, which is where it'll automatically track your sleep um, condition and tell when you've gone to sleep and when you've woken up. Palming gestures. This is fun. If that's turned on, when you have it up here, you can just go like that and cycle through all of your items. You don't actually have to fuss with it like you saw me doing earlier. Yes, I kind of experimented while I was off camera. You have a language switching of English or Chinese on the watch, imperial or metric, Fahrenheit or centigrade, and your vibration settings. This is fun. There's all sorts of different vibration styles depending on what is coming in. A call, a clock vibration, like an alarm, a schedule, or a sedentary reminder, message notification. Each one have different types of vibration that you can feel. And if you memorize those, you'll know your wrist is vibrating a certain way what exactly it is. A little bit more detail of how you can in, in, in interrogate your watch. And all of that has to do with the device itself. And you set that up right at the very top. We covered all of these. Down here at the bottom is where you select which things you want it to actually track and keep uh, 
on the app. You can take some of them off if you want to, or you can leave all of them there. And this last one here is about setting a goal. And I went in here and played with this. I'm just going to say finish and be done with that goal. And add another one. Let's add a sport type, which is going to be, wow, look at all the different sports. Slap? Yoga? <laughs> all right, let's do slap. I'm going to confirm slap for a duration of 60 minutes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Confirm. And now slap is in here. And there's its information. And, and that's the calories that it would burn. And these are the goals that I have set. And that's all set up inside of here. And then your data can accumulate based on those goals. And that's your cloud sync back again to the band. And you see it's, it's filling up the, the physical body. I'm at 50% for a health index. And it says start exercise. So I guess that's where we would actually begin an exercise. One last thing on this app. I think it's the last thing. We covered everything here in the me. We covered everything here in the home. We showed you what the data looks like that's accumulated and the information on how to set up the device is this little record button. For that, I need something to focus on. So let's bring over our little piece of paper about the Amazon buying link for the iWow mm, Fit, iWow and Fit 6, um, i6, and come here and hit the record button. When I do that, I have a choice of camera or cancel. I'm going to say easy camera, and it brings up the camera now in the device. So I've got the image in here, and you should see on the device, there's a little circle. Whoa, I just took the picture. I guess I touched it. So the intent here is that you can take selfies. Once you hit that record on the app and hit the button, you can take a picture. The picture is recorded on the uh, phone. So it's just like a remote uh, trigger. But you don't get to actually see the picture on the band, of course. I wow and fit. I wow and fit. All right. I wow and fit pro app that you get free, download it from the Google Play Store. And the band itself now, one last time, is available to you directly from Amazon. You can go on and uh, when you set up your purchasing of this device, if you use the link in the show notes below, be sure to apply the coupon you see there to get 20% off. That's like eight bucks off of a $40. So that's really making this thing reasonable to jump into fully waterproof. You can swim with this thing, shower and do all this stuff. It automatically kicks in, gives you 24 hour uh, heart rate monitoring. And um, you can set those training goals and run the training um, process and calculate all your calories and distance and everything. Two different colors it comes in. And you have been watching Smartwatch Ticks. Thanks for being here. We'll see you again soon.